What's up, Chosen Fruit, Chosen Vessel, Chosen Nation? Your girl is back with a big, quick message. Okay. To go a little bit higher. Mm -mm. A little, no. How can we ever go a little bit higher with the most high God? It's God. Okay, so a lot of bit higher, okay? Let's shift the element, okay, as we, oh, God. Did I say element? I meant to say, let's shift the atmosphere. Here we go. What I mean by that element word? Where that come from? Is that what? Do y'all know that word? Who been saying that word? Don't come for me if I say that word. Anyways, I mean, if you like science and stuff, say it. But um, I meant to say elevate, okay? Shift the climate. Elevate a lot of bit higher with the most high God. Like, how can we not type stuff? And so, yeah. Honestly, you ever had a situation where you probably, like, did something, and as soon as you woke up, there were so many things, challenges and everything just at your face, like, at your eyeballs, like, calling your name to do certain things to make you look towards it in such a way where it's like, huh, I need to fix this, I need to do this, I need to solve this, I need to be of service here before you actually take care of yourself. Sometimes you want to allow those things to be pushed back a bit from the standpoint of seeing that, hmm, I notice I have this. I notice I hear this. I notice that I see this. But, and without going to Abba first. Hmm. Because if you go to life and you start to show up from the standpoint of what is calling you and what is tapping you and what is looking at you, and what is waiting for you. You may show up from a standpoint of thinking that your direction to go forth is to move quick regarding this matter. But as you choose to do this without talking to the Lord, you now take yourself away from certain things, right? So as you choose wisely regarding certain matters, you accomplish goals better and more sound and raptured in the peace of Yahweh. When you include him, the first thing you do is you talk to him because he knows the day you're having. He knows what is trying to upset you. He knows what is trying to pull you here just to get it done quicker. What is trying to, he knows, right? With that being said, when you gear where he is, then you start to see things from the standpoint of, oh, he is already ahead of everything. If I rest there, then now these things are not ahead of me, but yet they are at a level in which I can maintain my peace while tackling them. And in all things, this could you know, place it where it makes sense in your life, right? Because it's so much that the Lord gears you to have through the stability of understanding who he is in your life as he is our priority, Jesus, right? He is the head and not the tail. He calls you such. But if you go forth and focus on the things that look like a tail, now... You might have just put on the clothing that you don't really like, and it's too small and too tight. And I don't even like the color of it, so. <laughs> yeah, you know, type stuff. You know that you know that you know you know. Because mm -hmm. it'll make you respond to it like, Ugh, don't touch me, don't talk to me, don't look at me, don't call me, don't, don't do none of that. <laughs> and yeah, I heard you, and I don't care, type stuff. But you want to show up to life. <laughs> We more calm, right? And ego is not the focus of it all. Like, yo, ego, child, I'm trying to tell you, even my ego, child, we should like that ego of ours because, baby, it can take us on a climb to a place that, baby, ooh, when the fall come, nah, ooh, it hurt. <laughs> Some people don't care because you can voice it from opinion when you start to look at everybody else and they walk around life and they think they're so big and puffed up and everything else, but then when they fall, they you see their face. We try not to laugh. Some people do. Them fruits, though, depending on how they show up, you know how people be like, mm, they look salty type stuff. But when you're caring, though, 
you also see the things that other people can do better because you can see through the realms of the spirit sometimes of what God is saying, depending on how you hear from the Lord. But if you have the gift of discernment, you can pray for the gift of discernment. You can pray to be closer to the Lord. You can pray that the Lord helps you hear things, you know, clearly. I mean, yeah, see things clearly and hear things clearly. You can ask the Lord and he will show you things in which you did not know, right? Those who have eyes to see, let them see. Ears to hear, let them hear. Also, if you caught this video, go back and check out Bible lessons. Check out the Hey Arnold video. Check out Moana video. Check out all of the breakdowns in which we try to, my God, gear you guys to hear and be aware of all the things that is happening in the world and their system and the programming and what God has already given us to dish out. Let's talk about it. Because when you're in a relationship, you like to talk about things, right? You like to communicate. This is a season where you date God. You know? I know it's like, what? Well, date God, huh? How that work? But dating is actually going out in a social gathering as well. Friendly reminder, God is your friend. Date God in such a way where it's like, not romance, of course. Are you mature? I know you are. You, you know what I mean. Period. And your mindset, include the Lord on everything. That's a date worthy of a friend. I love y'all. Bye. You guys, in Leviticus 20, verse 26, glory be to God. And ye shall be holy unto me, for I, the Lord, am holy, and have severed you from other people, that you should be mine a man also or a woman that hath a familiar spirit or that is a wizard shall surely be put to death they shall stone them with stones their blood shall be upon them the lord loves you thank god we don't have to fight a physical fight when you are with abba you are with the lord you are near to him because he knows all things he has overcame the earth and so the things in which your enemy, or really the enemy, because we shouldn't have any enemies. I mean, I think my motto is always, I know that I'm not anybody's enemy, but, am, you know, I, I'm not, I don't have any enemies. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't have any enemies, but am I somebody else's enemy? Hmm. That's a, that's a good question, because you can't control everybody, but we all got the enemy that we hate the most. Say, Yeah. Kingdom of darkness? Yeah. So, with Jesus, he has already overcame because he is the marvelous light that seduced the darkness. Mm -hmm. Even our very own flesh. So, hmm. Hmm. You know? Hmm. Mm hmm. Choose to partner with them. You know? I mean, just a free will offering because, I mean, like, Really? <laughs> Taba, how could you not? How could you not? <laughs> you know everything. Period. Best friend ever type stuff. Yeah. You know? Kind of like when Plankton was trying to hang out with SpongeBob. He was doing the thing like, best friend ever. Okay? Best. But that was kind of like a fake friend. Because, you know, Plankton really ain't like them. Like, I can like it. You know? Y'all know. He only wanted his secret from you. Oh, he only wanted his secret from you. Yeah, I met somebody like that. Fruit check. They only want to get close to you because they want to know more about you in a way where they kind of like, you know, fish for what make you the way you are and how you operate like that and how you da-da-da-da-da. But see, when you with Jesus, whoo, his disciples, you know, he tell them everything type stuff because he trusts them, you know. Well, he's loyal. Jesus is loyal. He trustworthy and true type stuff, and he know them, and he know God, and God know everything type stuff. But when them people who don't know God try to come up, be close to you, act like best friend ever, Best friend ever. Sometimes you gotta move in silence and see how they be acting. Like, mm hmm, what's the element? Or what's. Did I say element? I meant to say, is they elevating? Hmm. Uh. Or do they care if you elevate? Mm hmm. Beware of wolves and sheep clothing. <laughs> Every time I do that, hmm. I thought the video was over, and it ain't over. But now it's over. And for y'all, they're trying to do a thing because I ain't ended, but 
you thought I was gone, and then I came back and I did a thing, and now you looking like, mm hmm, I knew about it, I did, and so I love you too. God bless you. Mm hmm, your fruit checked. <laughs> or was it mine? Hmm. Glory be to God. <laughs> John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, for whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Give your life to him.